Hey everybody, good evening. It's Jennifer with Figured Out Fitness. And today I'm pretty excited. Sorry, first I have to look at myself in the mirror a little bit. You're using me this way. Actually, today I'm pretty... Oh, rotate my device. Okay, so today I'm pretty excited because I am inviting in to the amazing Figured Out team, and they're gonna be joining us as soon as they pop on. And so I will let them introduce themselves as soon as they start to pop on camera. And I'm super excited. Hey, connecting. One. There we go, inside the car. Now we're just waiting for our other rock star. So if hey you're there. watching, Michelle, you should have some sort of invitation to jump on the call. So, Michelle, come on. <laughs> well, this is Susie Howell. She is one of our new coaches with Figured Out Fitness. Say hi, Susie. Hey, everyone. Phone book update fan. Viewers invite. Come on. I'm trying to invite Michelle and Michelle don't see it. All right. You should be on there. <laughs> Susie, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and talk a little bit about real quick your fitness journey and how you came to be a part of our crazy uh, wacko team at Figured Out Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> um hi i'm Susie. um i actually um several a year ago i guess i wanted to do a competition and i had gone into actually a gym with my daughter-in-law who was doing posing and i met jennifer and she kind of was talking to me for about 10 minutes of as talking to her about figure comp competitions so i was really interested in doing one she never told me she was a coach, never told me she trained. She was just super nice. And I was like, and at the time I had another trainer that I wasn't doing super well with. And I walked away and I looked at my daughter-in-law and I'm like, I just learned more from her in 10 minutes than I did with the <laughs> trainer that I've been paying. So I ended up canceling my other trainer and I called Jennifer literally asking if somebody, if she knew anybody that trained in the area. And she's like, well, I'm a trainer. And I was like, you're hired. So, and the rest <laughs> has been history. So <laughs> been a wonderful it was wonderful it was meant to be <laughs> okay all right well and uh talk a little bit about what you do like what do you do for a living so and and uh what, some of the conversations we've had is why training is why our style of training and our style of coaching it fits in well with um with what you are very passionate about so do you want to give them a little more background about you and what you do and why training is really important. I'm kind of losing it, but I'm a nurse um, and I'm very much about keeping healthy. Um, I watched my daughter-in-law go through a training that I didn't feel was very healthy. Um, and Jennifer has a very, and what I appreciated learning from her is how to how to go about this in a in a healthy way a safe way because that's very 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 important to me um and i just needed you know i i done a video here a little bit of a live one about you know for me fitness became more about just an overall holistic approach to um well-being mentally physically emotionally and i i just think all those drastic crazy measures that you see out there just is not that does not bode well with that approach whatsoever mm -hmm. so i just think it needs to be safe and i like the idea of being able to eat what i want and i kind of like taking ownership of that i have done it the other way where people told me what to eat and i lost my mind so this is way better for me and and i i like that approach better awesome um so the other thing you'd always talked about was that being in healthcare, you kind of see one end of fitness. That I what? That in healthcare, that you see one part of fitness, like, like the end, the yes. bad part. <laughs> so when I, being in the healthcare field, I, I tend to, obviously as a nurse, and I was always, I was a hospice nurse. I worked in the hospital, then I was a hospice nurse for like 10 years. 
And so I always seen that back end of, you know, people at the end and they were younger and they were younger and they were younger. And, you know, I'd go in and there was people that would be on like 20 medications and they're taking a medication because they have a side effect from a medication because they have a side effect from a medication. And it was just nobody, there was so many things that could have been done differently. Um, fitness could have really, I think, helped taking some ownership and eating properly and being taught more of that would really benefit people more and um, they'd, ha they'd have the, so much more quality of life. I, it was it was kind of unreal to me on that whole on the on the on the nursing end on the back end of being in the mm -hmm. medical field that that circle of you know everyone just kind of get on the medication and then you get on another medication and then you get on another medication and it was just uh, that's hard for me to uh, be a part of someday. <laughs> so yeah. I want to tell you. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's difficult. And so I think what I like about what we do and figured out and why you're such a good fit for the team is that what's the approach it's not just about we're not about temporary solutions we don't know how to help help better we want people to change and i think i remember susie listening to your video when you did do your launch video and we're telling folks about your story there was just something really interesting about how you found fitness empowering and that's the type of I really, really wanted to help other people get to when they work with us and um, at Bayer. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Jacob. <laughs> so, Susie, what should people, what are some of the fun things that people may not know about you that we should know about you? Well, I'm 50, and I actually started my journey in my 40s. So, um, it can be done. There's no age limit to this whatsoever. Because if I can do this, anybody can do this. I have four kids, and I'm a grandma of a six year old little boy, and I'm about to be a grandma again. My oldest daughter's pregnant. And, um, you know, I have four kids. I was single. I was a single mom, and I, and I, I wasn't doing well. And I made, you know, fitness a priority, and, and I'd, it's made me a better mom. It's made me a better person. It's made me a lot of things better. So um, that's what I would really, you know, I, I, I get a lot of like, I didn't know you were 50. Yeah, I'm 50. <laughs> so, She's like, I'm definitely 50. 50. <laughs> so I, you know, I worked a full-time job and I, when I got until after my youngest daughter graduated, but I doing that, I actually became a better person all around and I was better for my family. So, mm -hmm. you know, as women, we give, give, give. And now right? your youngest no daughter, what's your youngest daughter doing, Susie? Huh? <laughs> your youngest daughter, what's she up to? <laughs> Okay, and now my youngest daughter is getting ready to compete in her first figure competition in um, a week, like a week from this Saturday. Yeah, she's like, she's driving the car right now. So she's like, what? So she's, and she's living with me. She does not live with me, and she's living back with me for these last few weeks, and I'm realizing what I might be like during a prep now. So it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. So. so. Good. So I good. always ask like I want to ask a James Lipton type question. If you guys aren't familiar with James Lipton's show on Bravo and how he's inside the actor's studio, he always asks these like off the wall questions. So my question to you, Susie, is like, all right, we all think that people who are fit never eat junk food or always work out and all this other stuff. Tell me your most epic cheat meal or treat meal ever. Most epic. Oh my gosh. Well, I can tell you, I just ate like 10 homemade chocolate chip cookies just the other day. <laughs> so, um, I kind of have this very, I think I've, I've mentioned this to um, Jennifer for sure. When I'm competing, I'm pretty strict and I'm pretty hard on myself. I'm not that, mm -hmm. but not, I won't say hard on myself, but I stay very true to it. I, I actually like that discipline. When I am not competing though, I have a very like 70 30 me sometimes i'm a maybe 80 20 but i 
I keep it pretty real and I track a lot, but then I stop tracking and I might take three days off and be like, mm, I, you know what? I'm good. Um, I don't care to keep it like that. That's not, that's not my lifestyle, but I've learned enough to know about portion sizes and um, food choices. I can make appropriate choices without having to really think about it anymore. And, and I've learned a lot of different combinations. So, um, but you know, I remember, I remember in my younger days, like studying and like eating an entire carton of ice cream before, you know, or something stupid like that. I've done some <laughs> crazy things, but, um, but yeah, I just had 10 chocolate. Chip. I made homemade chocolate chip cookies the other day and I was just like, mm, these are good. And the next yeah. thing, no, like, I think I had like 10 of them. And I was like, yeah. Might need to like not eat bad tomorrow. So <laughs> it was funny, but yeah. And JC, um, she's competing for a show, and she just cooked. She literally just made chocolate chip cookies because she wanted to bake because she wanted to be able to smell it, and then gave them all away because she can't eat them. What do we know? <laughs> well, I love that you mentioned that because I always like to ask that question because people always think, oh my gosh, you must spend hours in the gym and eat like salads no. and carrots all day. No, you're no. doing it right. You're spending less than an hour in the gym. You're eating your heart's content because your metabolism is just on fire and you can eat a ton yes. of food and still stay yes. in pretty good shape. So, yes. um, I well, I didn't want to keep, I wanted you, everybody to be able to meet you. Oh, Jacob said one peanut M&M for textbook page. <laughs> Jacob is uh, working on a degree in nutrition. So I know those books are pretty thick, Jacob, too. So. You are going yeah, to so <laughs> I really wanted you guys to all meet Susie. Uh, she's definitely one of the best coaches around. I was so excited that she wanted to be a part of the figured out team. You know, like she mentioned, she's 50. She's a mother of four. She's a grandma and her kids are so cute. I mean, it's like her kids stepped out of a J crew magazine, by the way, and the grandkids. So anyway, um, <laughs> but yeah, she's this great mom. And like she said, she started her fitness in her forties and, and has really used that to just feel better, look great. She looks phenomenal. So if you guys want to check out Susie, go to the figured out fitness dot com website you're gonna see her photo you're gonna see her favorite cheat meal and what you should know <laughs> about her and if you guys uh, the other reason we wanted other coaches um not only am i getting to capacity but it's important that you guys have options maybe you guys don't like me i mean yeah you do but maybe you guys like other different types of personalities <laughs> or you can relate to Susie or michelle who will just um, get online in a few minutes and so I just thought it was great to meet the coaches. We are really kind of a fearsome threesome. And if you all, if you ever see us all together, just watch out because we probably have something diabolical to do. No, I'm kidding. And we have a lot of fun together and it's nothing but respect for Susie and Michelle as women, as coaches. And so if you're interested in working with Susie, I really, oh, I really encourage you to go to figure out fitness. Hit the slide down button. Look, Susie, how she's awesome. Um, we're going to hang up with Susie because we got to bring Michelle on the line because I know that you guys want to meet Michelle too. So, all of us have a lot of common with us that we love to be um, but each of us are a little bit different from the day. So, say goodbye to Susie and we're going to pop. Bye, everybody. Meet Michelle. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. Bye. -bye.